Hello students, uh, today we will start our exercise 32 of the lesson <coughs> decimal. So let us try to do some questions here. So uh, let us see the first question. In the first question, we have to divide 37.04 by 8. Okay, by 8 you have to divide. So what will you do here? <coughs> you will write in this place. You see we have uh, I have written here for you all now okay now what you try to do you try to find out this 37 in the table of 8 so in the table of 8 we do not have 37 but we have a number smaller than 37 and that is 32 because 8 into 4 8 4 is a 32 we get it's not it so what we will do uh, we will write We'll write 4 here, we'll write 4 here and then 32 here. After writing this, we will subtract 32 out of 37. When you will subtract seven, uh, 2 out of 7, you will get 5, okay? So 3 minus 3 will be 0, which we will not write here, we will not write it here. And then uh, we'll take this point, okay? Because now uh, the number before point is over, therefore what is left is after the point. So we'll take this point up. We'll put it here in the up. After that, <coughs> what we will do, we'll bring this zero down. We'll bring this zero down here. Now the number which was 5 before is now 50. Okay, the number which was 5 before is now 50. And what we will do with this? We'll try to find out a number closer to 50 or equal to 50. So in the table of 8 we do not have 50 but we have a number closer or near to 50 that is 48 because 8 6 are 48. Now let us uh, subtract 48 from 50 your answer will be here 2. Now you see we have a 4 left here we will bring this 4 down then <coughs> the number will become 24. Now 8 3 is 24 we know 24 minus 24 is 0 ok. So you got the answer here. You got an answer as 4.63. Now, let us try question number 3 in the same manner. In the question number 3, we have 0 0.0344 is our dividend and divisor is 8. Now, let us try to divide it. What we will do, since in the first we have 0 and you don't have a 0 in the 8 table. So, what we will do, we will take 0 up with the decimal point with the decimal point we'll take it up and now again you see after the decimal point we have one zero again so we again don't have a zero in the eight table we know so what we will do we'll take this zero up okay we'll take this zero up now see the next number we have is three now again you see three is smaller three is smaller than eight since it is smaller we cannot divide three by eight so what we will do, we will take 34 together. To take 34 together, we have to put again one zero. If you remember division of uh, what is called whole numbers, whenever we want to take two numbers together, we always put an extra zero. So we have given one extra zero. So you see, uh, this, this zero is actually this one. Okay, But this zero we have taken because we want to take 34 together, 3 and 4 together. So now again you know in the table of 8, 8 4 ja 32 we have, so we have written 32. Now subtract 32 from 34 you will get 2, this 4 will come down and become 24, now 8 3 ja 24. So your final answer will be 0 0.0043, okay. Let us see another question, question number uh, 5, in the question number 5 also we have uh, here dividend is 14 point. 805 and divisor is 7. So now let us try to divide it. 7 to the 14 direct we have got. Okay, 14 minus 14 will get 0 and send this decimal point up. Okay, we are sending the decimal point up. Now, what you do? Try, try bringing this 8 down. Okay, we will bring this 8 down and we will try to find Eight in the table of seven which is not possible but we have a number smaller than eight that is seven okay so seven one ja seven we'll write seven one ja seven eight minus seven will give you one 
8 minus 7 will give 1 and this 0 will come down. It will come 10. Again 7 1 ja 7. Okay. So 10 minus 7 will give you 3 and this 5 comes down. 35. We know that 7 5 ja 35. So 35 minus 35 will give you 0. So your final answer will be 2.115. Okay. Let us try one more question that is question number 7. In the question number 7 we are given... Uh, 5.887 okay uh, divided by 29 now let us see uh, 29 is uh, bigger than 5 is not it this 5 so what we will do since it is bigger that we need to take these two number together is not it but if you want to take these two number together you have to first take 1 0 and then the point then the point you have to take this point up okay now now you can try to find a number which is equal to 58 or less than 58 okay so 29 2 za if you multiply 29 by 2 you'll get 58 which is equal to 58 58 minus 58 is 0 okay now bring the 8 down hmm? bring the 8 down Okay, now 8 is again not divisible by, this 8 is not divisible by 29. We are again in problem. So what we will do, we will take as I told you, whenever you want to take two numbers together, always put a 0 up. Okay, in the place of quotient, you put 1 0 extra. So I have given 1 0 extra here. Therefore, I am free to take 7 with 8. Okay, now 87. So 29 3 is 87. Okay, the answer will be 0. Let us check. Uh, another question question number nine in the question number nine we have seven point seven point eight six eight as a dividend and 14 as a divisor let us begin it again you see 14 we have here and seven is smaller than 14 what you are going to do you are going to do you will take zero first you will take zero then you will take point and now you can take the 78 together that means now you can try to find out 78 in the table of 14 but in the table of 14 you will not get 78 you will get a number smaller than 78 that is 70 that means you will multiply 14 into 5 you will get 70 okay so we'll write that one 14 5 is 70 now a, uh, if you will subtract 8 out of 0 or oh, sorry uh, if, you, if you subtract 0 out of 8 you will get 8 now the 6 will come down 86 so what we'll do now in the table of 14 if you multiply 14 by 6 you will get 84 subtract 4 out of 6 you'll get 2 okay then 28 14 2 za 28 0 okay so your final answer is 0 0.562 okay okay question number 11 Question number 11 you see dividend is uh, 1 to 2 point that is 122.6 and divisor is 8. Now let us multiply 8 ones are 8. 12 minus 8 will give you 4. 2 comes down. 2 comes down is so 42. 8 fives are 8 fives are 40. Again if you we'll subtract 40 out of 42 you will get 2 as an extra number. Then 6 comes down. Okay, before bringing 6 down, what you have to do is that take this point up. Okay, because the numbers before points work is over. We have already divided them. Uh, so what we will do, we will try to divide the number after the decimal point. So before dividing, you have to carry the decimal point up. Carry it. I start. 8. 8 trees are 24 you have got. You have got a 24. So if you will subtract 24 out of 26, you will get... 2 okay we will get 2 now since we have 2 and there is no number left here so what we will do 2 uh, we cannot uh, divide 2 we cannot divide 2 by 8 it's not it by 8 so what we will do because of this decimal point you will get an extra 0 put that 0 here now 8 to the 16 subtract 16 out of 20 you will get 4 Again, 4 is smaller than 8, so we'll take again 1 0 because of the decimal point we have here. So now 8 5 is a 40. Your final answer will be 15.325. Now let us see 
let us see another exercise in the same exercise another question that is question number 13 so see the question number 13 you have to divide 18 by 20 okay 18 by 20 we have to divide so what will you do you will write 18 first first you will write 18 okay 18 you will write then you, you will write 20 now you see 18 is really smaller than 20 so how the division is possible that means we have to increase the value of 18 by how we can increase by taking one zero and putting one point as soon as you give one point you get an extra zero here okay whenever an whenever a dividend is smaller than a divisor always give a point to increase its value so 18 turns into 18 turns into 180 now easily we can divide 20 into 9 20 into 9 will give you 180 and if you subtract you will get 0 so your final answer will be 0 0.9 let us see question number 15 in the question number 15 uh, you have to divide 0 0.82 by 40 here also uh, the dividend is smaller than divisor uh, what we will do now since we will write the number and we will take this we will take this 0 up with the decimal point okay with the decimal point you take the number up so we have taken this uh, this zero up and the decimal point also up now the uh, the number uh, just after the decimal point is 8 8 is again smaller 8 is smaller than 40 what we will do that means we have to take these two numbers together to take this number together you have to take one zero i told you before also when you want to take two numbers together always put a zero if you put a zero now you have the permission to take two numbers together 82 so 42 is 80 we know so if you subtract 80 out of 82 you will get 2 here ok 2 here now the 0 left will come down the 0 left will come down it will become 20 20 20 you see is a number uh, which is not actually uh, you can say divisible by 40 20 is smaller than 40 so what you will do you have brought it down that means we need one more extra zero okay if you want one more extra zero what you will do you will put again one zero here okay if you put one zero here you can take one extra zero okay you can take one extra zero now 40 into 5 will give you 200 okay so now you can directly subtract you will get 0 is your answer okay. now let us see question number 17 question number 17 you have 343 divided by 7000 again your dividend is smaller if this dividend is smaller you have to increase the zeros behind the dividend to do that one you have to put one zero and then point okay put the point after this you can take one zero okay because you have taken one point here therefore uh, therefore you can you are free to take one zero i have taken one zero here now still you see three four three zero is still smaller smaller than seven thousand it's not it so that means i need one more zero for that what i will do since decimal points allows only one zero at one step on one step therefore you have to take one extra zero take one extra zero and you will get one extra zero here as well okay now multiply multiply 7000 into 4 you will get 28000 subtract it for subtracting you will get how much you will get 6300 you will get okay this zero i have taken extra okay I have taken this zero extra okay because of the decimal point I have taken this zero okay seven thousand multiplied by nine will give you sixty three thousand okay so this is how your this will get over let us see question number nineteen in the question number nineteen we have 540.96 divided by 400 so 540.96 divided by 400 so 400 into 1 will give you 400 subtract subtract then subtract you will get 140 then uh, take the decimal point up 
टेक द डेसिमल पॉइंट आप ब्रिंग नाइन डाउन ब्रिंग नाइन डाउन सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई फोर हंड्रेड विथ थ्री यू विल गेट ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड सब्ट्रैक्टेड यू विल गेट टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइन ना ब्रिंग दिस सिक्स डाउन इट विल बिकम टू थाउजेंड नाइन्टी सिक्स ना ऑन द टेबल इफ यू विल मल्टीप्लाई फोर हंड्रेड बाई फाइव दैन इट विल बिकम टू थाउजेंड सब्ट्रैक्ट टू थाउजेंड आउट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड नाइन्टी सिक्स यू विल गेट नाइन्टी सिक्स Now oh, ninety six uh, take one zero because of this because ninety six is smaller than four uh, hundred. Therefore, what we will do, we'll take one extra zero. Okay, because of decimal point. Now four hundred into two, four hundred into two will give you eight hundred. Subtract it, you will get one sixty. One sixty is again smaller than four hundred. So what we will do, we'll take one again more zero because of the decimal point. Now multiply 400 into 400. Four, sorry, 400 into 4. If you multiply, you'll get 1600. So 1600 subtracted out of 1600 will give you zero. And that means you have got the final answer. Quotient is 1.3524. Okay. Now let us see question number 21. Okay. In the question number 21, the total amount of milk given to you is actually 8.75. Okay. liter and number of students are 35 total so the amount of milk that each student will get will be how much that means you have to divide 8.75 by 35 students is not it so let us see how to do it i have done it here uh, write 8.75 divided by 35 so if you'll uh, since uh, 8 is smaller than 35 we are going to take zero here and one point here Okay, one point you have to take here. After taking this point, what will you do? Divide it. Thirty-five to just seventy you will get. Now, uh, if you subtract seventy out of thirty-seven, you will get seven down. Okay, then it means one again one. Okay, bring the five down. One seventy-five. Now, if you multiply thirty-five into five, you will get one seventy-five. So your final answer will be zero point two five liter. Okay, zero point two five liter each students will get. So this is exercise thirty uh, two. Uh, we'll do exercise thirty three in the next video.